The Republican Party is now officially the party of Trump. I proudly accept your nomination for President of the United States. Thank you. Sporting his bandage, the former president talked about policies, grievances, and God. I'm not supposed to be here tonight. Not supposed to be here. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I stand before you in this arena only by the grace of Almighty God. Earlier, wrestling star Hulk Hogan got the crowd going. Enough was enough! That combative message echoed by Donald Trump. I raised my right arm, looked at the thousands and thousands of people that were breathlessly waiting, and started shouting, fight, fight, fight. There was blood pouring everywhere, and yet, in a certain way, I felt very safe because I had God on my side. I felt that. He had said he wanted to focus on unity, but reverted to his known divisive rhetoric on issues such as Ukraine, energy and immigration. I will end the illegal immigration crisis by closing our border and finishing the wall, most of which I've already built. What's better than that? We have to stop the invasion into our country that's killing hundreds of thousands of people a year. The crowd here is energized by Donald Trump. He has risen right to the top of the Republican Party again. The support for him here is unquestionable. It's a very different story for his opponent, President Joe Biden, where support for him seems to be breaking away. His health of fragility is in huge contrast to his death-defying opponent. President of the United States. Reports suggest top Democrat and close friend Nancy Pelosi has been telling colleagues that Mr. Biden can be persuaded to exit the race soon. Even former President Obama, who recently appeared with him at a fundraiser, is said to be worried that his path to victory has diminished. Ultimately, it's Joe Biden's decision, but cracks have appeared in his armor. As the president confronts a dark moment in his political career, the man he beat four years ago stands triumphant. Donald Trump, a convicted felon, has now advanced one of the most stunning comebacks in political history. Nomi Iqbal, BBC News, Wisconsin.